Jackie, the, the, the next story is on the front page of the Morning Star. Um, we want Corbyn more than 70,000 signed petition to defy Starmer. Uh, I know John is, uh, I, if I'd asked John about this, he'd have, his, his temperature would have gone up because um, he's not a fan on petitions. But what do you think about this as a, an idea? I do love the way you've posed me as the temperate voice here. <laughs> it's a long time yeah. since somebody's done that, I'll tell you that. But, um, OK, so 70,000 people signed this petition. Me, I was amongst one of those. But I have to admit, I feel mixed about this because it's about restoring the whip and getting him back into, you know, properly being a Labour candidate. And there's part of me that thinks, yeah, well, obviously, if it happened, there would be a victory for the left. But first of all, it's not going to happen. And uh, second of all, can you imagine if if Jeremy was actually let back into the Labour Party? I mean, I think it would be what used to be called a cruel and unusual punishment. I mean, the, the horror of the idea of this poor, you know, poor bloke, the, like I've said, the nearest thing to a vegetarian vicar that the Labour Party has actually ever had, going into these den of thieves and frauders and, and bullies and worse, just, just kind of makes you want mm. to weep. But there's another story behind this, isn't there, which is about the whole way, and it links to, it actually links to what John was saying before. This is the gerrymandering of who's going to be MPs and who is going to um, actually represent Labour. And this is not just counter-democratic, it's anti-democratic, because now what we see very plainly is the Labour Party has absolutely no democratic base for what it does. I'm just gonna highlight one of these stories with um, with um, Rubiera Addy has just been told that she's being moved, so she will no longer be in a safe seat. This is one of the few black women MPs we have. This comes just after Channel 4, thank goodness, at last picked up on your lead and did something about the Ford report and mentioned the fact that black MPs, black MPs were too scared to comment on the level of racism that they have in the Labour Party. And what's happening is that they're being replaced by two Starmerite white MPs in an area that is at least 50% black. So, I mean, do we actually want him to go in? I mean, what, what the extraordinary thing about this is, and this does include Bell, they all just sit there quietly waiting to be picked off one by one. When is it going to get through to their head that this strategy isn't working? There is only one way to leverage the Labour Party, and that would be for all the left MPs to come out now and actually not just wait for the whip to be taken off, but actually say, no, I'm not having the Labour whip. We're going to, even if we go down, we cannot any longer. And uh, be associated with the Labour Party. And that would wake up their black constituencies. And that might just be some leverage. But at the moment, we're going to see the extinction of left representation in the Labour Party.